Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. My name's Tammy with Walnut Creek Bath Boutique and guess what came in the mail today? My new stick blender. That's right, I did end up with a Vitamix stick blender. Uh, it was a bit of a costly investment, but I need a good stick blender and I need a tall shaft. That was one of my requirements is that my pitcher here that I put my oils in is at least nine inches. I really need a nine inch shaft and most of them that I was looking at was more like eight or, or less. I am gonna be making a hazelnut coffee soap today. I made this last year and it really sold quite well for me and I almost decided to double this recipe. And then I thought, eh, I really don't think I wanna do that. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing to do, making those big double batches. And one of the things that I really want to do is use up some of my fragrance oils that I had bought this year or even like late last year. Use up some of these one, two, and four ounce bottles that I had and get those off my shelf. I'm going to be making a lot of smaller batches and not a lot of bigger batches. And that's kind of my game plan. But hazelnut coffee was a winner last year. I thought the soap ended up being beautiful and I just made a hazelnut coffee scrub a couple weeks ago and I really want to be able to pair that with uh, a soap for the gift sets that I'm going to try to do a little bit better on uh, coming up with these different gift sets. So hazelnut coffee is on the docket for today. So let's get the stick blender out of its packaging and take a look at it. There is one little bit of concern for me, but I don't know if it will be a big deal or not. And that is the shaft has this plastic guard on it. I, you know, I'm just hopeful that that will be okay. One of the ones I was looking at on Webstaurant was, was something I almost bought, but it was like, almost, it was double or or even more than double the weight. I'm kind of a weakling. So I'm gonna go wash this off real quick and then we'll get started. I'm making 100% coffee soap. All of my water is coffee that I made a couple weeks ago. And in here I have my sugar and my citric acid. I've teared this off and I need to dissolve this in some coffee before I add my lye. So I'm going to add just a little bit of the coffee that I didn't get in my ice cube trays and get just enough of that going so I can get this dissolved. Now, when I did this last year, I didn't freeze my coffee at all. I just used cold coffee um, and it was fine. This is made with distilled water, guys. I need to go get my coffee grounds. They're still in the fridge. I'm gonna go get my coffee grounds and then I'm gonna weigh off my ice cubes. I've got my coffee ice cubes weighed out and now I'm just going to slowly add my lye water. That last little bit was quite a bit but you know it's not like you're going to burn coffee that much. You know it gets pretty hot when it's cooking. I wasn't sure when I was going to make the soap so I just made the coffee on my time and froze it. And I'm glad I did because now I don't have to wait for this to cool off very long. 94, 89, I'm gonna call that good. All right, so the discoloration is gonna happen, right? Look how dark that is. This is gonna discolor, the fragrance oils discolor. I think what I'm gonna do um, a little bit different than I did last year and I will post up last year's video if you'd like to see that. It was it was me splitting this off in a bunch of different containers and doing a very beautiful, very beautiful pour. I am in love with that soap. But I do wanna do something a little bit different. All right guys, here we go. This, I tested this, it does feel like it latches so much tighter than my previous one. And this button will, you can't even see, this button down here changes the speed 
and the top one is the power. So let's see. How quiet is that? <laughs> wow, that is super quiet. Um, that was on the third speed and it didn't feel too fast. Um, gosh, but it was so quiet. Maybe I'm not, I'm not realizing how fast it's going. All right, here with our coffee lye water. Oh my gosh. Can you see how gorgeous that looks? I want coffee now. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the fragrance oil while I'm at it. And darn it, I'm going to go ahead and add in my sodium lactate. I forgot it again. <laughs> I had it sitting out in this pot so I would remember. <laughs> I can't get over how quiet this thing is. This is nuts how quiet this is. Normal volume right here on, oh, it went back down to one. Let me go back up to three. All right, what I'm wanting to do, I don't know if this is gonna be a mistake or not, but I'm just gonna do a drop swirl but I'm going to lighten it as I go. And so it's just gonna get lighter and lighter as it goes. And I'm hoping, I'm gonna add some coffee grounds, guys, that it's not gonna to get too thick on me to let me blend this in. Some, uh, my titanium dioxide. I just made up some fresh TD, so I'm going to add a little bit to there and blend that in. Maybe I wouldn't have to blend it. I may not have to. But I want to get enough in there that's actually going to make a difference. All right, I'm going to blend it for just a second. It may be getting to be too thick for that, so I may just have to stir in the rest of my TD. I love how narrow this head is. I don't know if I have you pulled in too far, but scraping this off is really actually kind of nice. Let me, uh, let me move this so you can see a little bit maybe. And then again, I'm just going to do a drop swirl. It was getting thick on me. I'm going to do a little bit more. And add some more TD. And I'm just going to stir that in. I think I want to do a bit of a swirl in here. I'm just going to take a glass rod. It is fairly thick. There. 
We'll see what that does. And one last little bit of TD. And then, like last year, I am just going to spoon texture the top a little bit, make it pillowy. All right, now here we go, guys. They're sweating. <laughs> I can't make embeds without them sweating. I'm I'm pretty sure my my uh, soap is getting a little old, and I think that might be why it's sweating. Just a little bit. I did add some glycerin to it, but it didn't work. Uh-oh. Just kind of. Apparently I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. <laughs> I'm either going to go no embeds or be ridiculous with the number of embeds. Because <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. And look at me, I'm still going. Okay, I'm done. I really want to put some glitter on it. I know a coffee soap doesn't really scream for glitter. All right, look at me one more time. One more, there's a little spot here. <laughs> But I don't know why I just feel the need to put some glitter. I think it's just been a while since I've added glitter. So I'm adding a little bit. There. Ugh. I don't know that I liked glitter, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I am not putting this in the oven because I have these embeds on there. And uh, I remember my mistake from last year and what th that disaster was. So I'm just going to wrap this in some towels and put it out in the main room. All right, guys, let's get this coffee soap cut. It's been on my back counter for probably almost a week. I don't usually let them go this long. Now this is, and it's still going to discolor as you can see, uh, a lot lighter than even, even where it's discolored. It's a lot lighter than last year. And it seems to be that my swirls have kind of disappeared. They're there, but you can barely see them. So I'm hoping with the discoloration that's coming, those swirls will be a lot more prominent. So guys, I'm gonna give this a few more days on the back counter. I'm gonna clean them off like I do, but I am gonna let them sit here probably until, this is Tuesday, I'll probably wait until at least Saturday and I'll bring us back and we'll see what they look like after they've had some more time to discolor. Guys, I just realized something. I have to show you this. Look at that. I didn't put it in the oven this time. Last year, I made a mistake with melt and pour and I see popped in. It's like, oops. <laughs> but I think I still got it too hot because some of my coffee beans have melted. <laughs> oh goodness. That they look like little blobs or like animal like print. <laughs> okay, it's been about a week since I cut the coffee soap. I am so in love with this scent, guys. I really do uh, like this scent from Candle Science an awful lot. Uh, I like that there's just not coffee in it. You do definitely get different notes. As far as the design, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, I think last year's was prettier. <laughs> and it's not as dark as last year's. Last year, I went back and watched it and I didn't do anything different other than um, I left more of uncolored soap and I didn't freeze my coffee before putting my lye in it. 
Whether that made a difference or not, I don't know. But that's the only two differences. There is uncolored soap in here, not very much, but even that, I just don't think it's as discolored as it was last year. So I'm wondering if freezing the coffee made a difference. All in all, I'm, I'm feeling okay with it. I wish I would not have taken that glass rod and swirled it. I would have liked to have seen this without that being done. Other than that, I'm super, super happy with it. I think it's really pretty. I love my little coffee beans, even though a couple melted <laughs> on the pool table. So let's talk about the stick blender that I have. I love this thing so far. I haven't used it again, but I really like how narrow this is as opposed to like, I have an older one. This is what I usually do lotions with and it's just like hard to clean any kind of soap or lotion off of that bell, I guess that's called. Where this is super easy to just scrape that right off and it comes right up. I really like, I know it's like a little thing, but I really love that part of it. The plastic held up fine. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know what it's gonna look like in six months, but this little piece of plastic is not, not a big deal. So I'm really happy with it. I can't believe how quiet it is. I love that part. So I can't wait to make more soap. I was gonna make some soap this weekend, but that's not gonna happen. Next weekend probably isn't gonna happen, so I'm gonna be behind. <laughs> but now that I have my stick blender, I'm really excited to get down here and get busy on making some more soap. Thank you guys for watching my video today. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.